Assalamualaikum and good evening. Uh, today we are going to review about the movie that we just watched, we just chose and watched last week. Now you see me. Uh, we watch the movie at the library together together. And firstly, my review is about the movie is now you see me has a stellar cast. And a fun, integrating premise and themes, delightful smart accessory and cunning tactics, especially in those scenes dominated by Jesse Eisenberg or Woody Harrison. It has quite dazzling action sequence. All the best part of the film are well packaged and so in the gripping theoretical trailer. Overall, a showman of showman of the film, flashy, loud with bells and whistle and big personalities. An exciting premise, illusionist rock band using supposed magic by the foreman, horsemen are just puppet in the game, but the hips is more than the substances of the film itself. <coughs> I was surprised at how good the story was, sure it won't win any Oscar but it takes a road at the end that nobody will see, see coming. It's make you want to go back and see it twice to understand it better and just like all magic tricks. Some of it cannot be explained, uh, and you are left with no answer but to believe that what you saw was true. That's all for me, and I will continue with Ayman. Okay, please Ayman. Hey, everybody, uh, we meet again this week. Hey, my name is Ayman. Ayman, Ayman. Uh, okay, thanks to um, our, my leader, uh, our leader, Mosha. Or Shafiq to pass the button to me. Okay, uh, okay, uh, best. Uh, okay, I'm also going to give my honest review for the movie Now You See Me that all of us just watched in the library <coughs> just now. Yeah, well, it's a very long story. I mean, we watched an, extend, an, an extended version which take two hours plus minus. Uh, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the story uh, based the uh, I mean the when I first recommend was recommended by the story by my friends. They said uh, the story was generally was based on magic. Well, that's true. Uh, there is magic somehow, but uh, I'm quite disappointed with the plot uh, because the plot was being very slow with uh, so so many talking boring talking scenes and. I really really sleepy when watching it. <laughs> I mean then uh, somehow the plot was very convoluted. I mean the, the plot was twist the twist plot whatever they call it uh, and <coughs> we don't know what the function of the main character. I mean what he will do, what he want to do and what he gonna do. I mean I really don't get it that much and <coughs> honestly uh, they said the third uh, point I want to say that the character development in the movie. I mean, if you guys, uh, if you watch the movie, the character development only, I mean, the introduction of the character only takes 10 minutes. I mean, that 10 minutes is only the time, eh? the time they, they want to show to the, to us, the viewers, what kind of uh, players will be played in the movie. Then, after that, the character development was not much shown. I mean, that was also quite a one of one of the confusing thing to uh, when you watch this movie. But uh, I do want to give credits to the action plot because I would say that the most of the action plot in the movie was surprisingly fun and enjoyable. And I mean, this movie. Uh, very may maybe sleepy, but it has its own specialty, just like the action action scenes. But the most uh, depressing part is about the final. I mean the ending. I mean the ending of this movie didn't really leave an impression that this movie was based on magical or magic genre, whatever. And. But I mean it's full of. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. <laughs> conspiracy. Conspiracy. Yes, conspiration and I mean revenge whatsoever. So 
I this is my honest opinion. I think I will give for the star. We give two and a half star for this movie. <laughs> Thank you. So, Hasan, um, all about you. Okay. Uh, very good evening to everybody. So <coughs> actually, I watched the movie. Now you see me. The movie was actually released by the year of two thousand thirteen May. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was about the four keep magicians. Keep Actually, the uh, storyline is about four magicians who uh, take summons uh, of the. Chala. Ah. 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 Then they are known as the four horsemen. After a, a year later in the movie, uh, they just conduct a show in Las Vegas where the tickets were sold out. By the time the tickets sold out and they showed up a uh, bank robbery for real from the <coughs> stage itself. Uh, their main characters of the movies are. Uh, Yeah, nah, I forgot the name. Uh, the main characters was uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, that fellow will be acting in the movie, the upcoming movie Batman vs Superman, which will be releasing releasing on year 2016 next year. Then the next is uh, Isla Fisher, the French lady <coughs> who played the Toot Fairy Tale in the animated movie titled Rise of the Guardians. And uh, another player is uh, Dave Franco. Have you all watched the movie titled Twenty One Jump Street? Yes. Uh, he was a hero. You guys should have watched. Yeah, we watched it already. Okay. Then the another guy is uh, Woody Harrelson, the American actor, activist, playwright. He also acted in the movie titled Zombie Land. Oh. Uh, and uh, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman is the uh, legendary actor in the movie. He is seventy eight years old by now, as you all know. Uh, he started his movie career by the year of nineteen sixty four. Now his net worth millions. His has ah uh, his uh, income is millions. So about when I Google about it, I get to know about his net worth is about ninety millions now. Uh, then the police character, the police character, and the Interpol character in the movie was uh, Melanie <coughs> Rowland. She is a French-originated, multi-talented singer, model, actor, and an uh, activist. She made up a debut in Hollywood by the title movie title called Inglorious Bastards. Have you watched the movie Inglorious? No, no. 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 guys, you watched it. Never, 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 never know about the movie. Never heard about it. Never know. Check it out. Uh, then the last is uh, Mark Ruffalo, character named Dylan Ross. Mark Ruffalo, anyone knows Mark Ruffalo? Yeah. Ha, yeah. Avengers. Uh, how, how come you don't know? <laughs> Have you watched the movie Avengers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Hulk character. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, he's the one. The Hulk. He's the one. Uh, I just know the Hulk. Another movie that became quite famous by the year 2014, acted by him was the Fox Catcher. So actually, the movie is all about. Uh, magic, magic, the magic was done uh, on a stage, but it was uh, the illusionist. Uh, what's that? The illusionist exposer, Terrius Bradley, uh, finally found out how they did the magic. It's not actually a magic; it's an illusion. So by the end of the movie, there will be a twist <coughs> where the uh, police character, the Interpol character, Dylan Roth. He will be also uh, in the team as the head of the team. So at the end, at end, at the end only they will get to know about the four, the four horsemen will get to know about the main person of the storyline. I think that's all. Thank you. Hello, assalamualaikum, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and good evening. So my name is Muhammad Zarfan. So I want to review, just a little review about the now you see me. Or summarize the movie. So the main genre of this kind of movie is magic. So as we know, there is a little action, uh, plus magic. So the 
at, at the beginning of the movie, uh, there's somebody that uh, what is called ah uh, team up yes that's what team up all the team that uh, illusionist psycho stress and we call hypnotist hypnotized another person so four of them was then together become in a group that that was called the four horsemen under somebody that they never know who he is so the i think there is no moral value in this movie because there's just magic you know right the magic so they so i uh, make a performance so the basic uh, idea of this movie was a revenge revenge of somebody uh, from the child uh, to the until the adult so they team up the team and revenge to the, the insurance company French bank uh, that's all and the, the one uh, the one the one the legend ma magician that who's killed his father so he wants to take a revenge uh, to him so the man behind the the man who behind the event was the police agent <coughs> his name Daniel Dallas Ford yeah agent Dallas Ford yeah wants to revenge to the Arthur Tressler Arthur Tressler uh, and the bank French bank and the let's see the legend magician so uh, lastly the force man know that the was the police uh, uh, involved in the conspiracy conspiration yes yeah, conspiration so the team was gather and become the, become the fro, uh, from the forcemen so they made a group that called the eyes i see like illumination so we are at the end the ending of the story just uh, like uh, because they still have uh, another movie that called Now You See Me Too so maybe we can watch together <laughs> after this okay. perhaps at <laughs> <laughs> the cinema so this if I have to rating this movie so I will give 4 star perhaps so that's all so I will pass the review to Jumdaus Okay, I'm Pidals. Uh, I like to share the part of the movie that were interesting. Okay. I think the interesting part is when the mm. just mm. mm. who revealed the mm. trick mm. behind all the magician tricky. Okay. Uh, <coughs> firstly, uh, Dylan, Dylan or Dylan Rogers, uh, who FBI, FBI agent, and <coughs> Alma, Alma Dre, Interpol agent, uh, meet, meet Tedious Bradley, uh, to know how the robbery ban occur okay uh tedious <laughs> mm. okay tedious bradley is a former magician who professionally revealed the secret that's why dylan and alma want to see her see him and then tedious was in the audience and they can deduce he can deduce the horsemen that stole the money with earlier uh, actually the money is stole is stole earlier with earlier and then replacing it with counterfeit money printed on flash paper why the real money was taken to vegetables for the three, uh, 
in magic the counterfeit money was somehow burned and uh, the three the three go to the group next performance in New Orleans where the hostman steal million from the bank account and distribute it to the audience somehow compose or entire of the term of hurricane and distribute it to the audience hmm. This part made me to this part made me <coughs> interested on how <coughs> on how they just really reveal this tricky. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think that all. Waiting, waiting, this waiting. Waiting, waiting, this is waiting. Stop, stop, stop. Ah, uh, waiting. <laughs> this movie actually bought. Yeah. Uh, so the plot is low. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hi, guys. My name is Jasmine. So you recently watched the first movie. Uh, we recently watched the first movie, which is not now you see me. So it is an action movie. Full with action. Uh, uh, full with magic trick. Fusions and some kind of nerve wracking things, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, it is about um, it, it is about an <coughs> agent, FBI agent, uh, Diane Rhodes, played by Mark Ruffalo, and the Interpol detective, uh, yeah, Al Madri, played by Melanie Lawrence. They try to track um, a team of magician which is i think it is more likely to be a team of illusionists which um they commit a crime by doing bank robbery and but they re reward the money to the audiences so um but there is there are twists at the end of the story and i think uh, that is why we have to watch it from the beginning to the end because it was quite um, confusing actually. Um, okay. so, uh, yeah. um, what I like the most about this movie is the casting. Okay. Uh, the casting are perfect and they played the role uh, great. Uh, there are excellent actors and actresses in this movie, which is um, it is lead by this Jesse Eisenberg, uh, Ayla Fisher, Mark Ruffalo, Melanie Ro Lauren, and there are also legendary actors, um, which is which are Michael Keane and Morgan Freeman. Yes. Yes. Um, <coughs> uh, but there are also parts of this movie that I thought were unsatisfied, which is the parts. It is not so confusing. It is the part where Tennis Bradley, which is played by Morgan Freeman, uh, because I don't really understand why he was jailed at the end of this movie. Because I think he is the star and the hero in this movie, so yeah, it is quite unsatisfying. So overall, this movie is magnificent. And it is suitable for those who love magic tricks and illusions. And it is also suitable for everyone since it doesn't have any inappropriate scenes. Uh, so lastly, I would give three stars out of five for this movie. Thank you. Hi, good evening. My name is Chipnet. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, for the story, now you see me. Uh, everyone has has thought about it. So basically, the story is about the four horsemen, the four magician, who has their own specialty on doing magics. They combine and they put on uh, put on an amazing show in Vegas, which they actually are. Uh, actually uh, doing robbery at a French bank <coughs> and then uh, so after that 
they were tracked by an FBI agent and Interpol agents uh, because they actually planned for another performance at New Orleans. I think it's New Orleans. <laughs> so these two agents they tried to uh, stop these four horsemen from doing another show by uh, with the help of uh, Thaddeus, a famous debunker, the one who uh, revealed the magic which uh, made by these four horsemen and actually at the last the last scene of the story actually the FBI agents is the one who wanted to revenge on the Tejas because Tejas is the one who causes his father's death because the FBI agent's father was a magician before this and Tejas revealed on how he do the magic uh, so he died <laughs> uh, for this movie, people said there is no moral values, but actually, for me, <laughs> for me, we, uh, we, we, we can try to think out of the box to find solutions for something that happens, and yet we, we shouldn't easily trust people because you know, don't just book by cover. FBI agents is the one who actually try to uh, to to revenge on <laughs> Uh So he's not actually a good guy, but he he make people believe that he's a good guy. So because I love this movie, so it's four and a half star. Four and a half star. Four and a half star. Hi, my name is Farah. I agree with her. Uh, <laughs> I really like this movie. It's really enjoyable. Fun. A uh, lot of fun. Uh, because it's all about, it's all about magic. I love magic. <laughs> um, uh, for overall, the movie is quite good. Um, uh, they have uh, in this movie they have many more values. Yeah, I found the more value from this movie. Yeah, it's like more value. First, uh, uh, we can we can see that in the in the movie, uh, when we want to do the right thing, it takes many years. Uh, like Dylan, he planned to revenge his uh, dead father for many years. Uh, to, uh, he planned it uh, since, uh, since, uh, since he was a child until uh, he became a policeman. Um, I mean, but, uh, but the wrong thing, um, uh, like um, the Tedius, Tedius, uh, he exposed his father, uh, Dylan's father, trick to just a minute, but it took um, it took a, a, a huge damage to uh, to Dylan uh, because he lost his father. So uh, the, um, another more value is teamwork. Uh, the the magic will not success if the four horsemen did not uh, work together to. To uh to make the show, and then <laughs> uh and then we can find that uh strategic vision is need to plan a work uh like uh, uh like a phrase in the movie. The closer you look, uh, the uh, the lesser you see. It means uh, you think that you reach the 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 goal, but actually uh, you are two step behind what you want to get.
So I give Forty. five star to this movie. Oh. 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 Okay, uh, I pass this to you. Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Star, and I would like to talk about uh, the movie, which is now you see me. Um, as I previously said in my first uh, meeting, I already watched this movie before. So it's not the first time. Um, even though I watched it second time with uh, my group members, I still did not get bored because <laughs> it has a great storyline. Uh, it's about um, four musician, <laughs> musician, <laughs> uh, which they came up uh, to rob a bank by magic. And uh, there is the FBI, which he tried to catch them. And uh, they always uh, step ahead. And um, there is, uh, at the ending, uh, the twisted, uh, which you will be surprised. And uh, even though it does not make any sense, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. 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 But I still uh, like it, and um, I highly recommended this movie for those people who like to watch magic and uh, like to be surprised. <laughs> and that's it. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. 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 One and a half. Three or two. Three or five. I have good taste in movies. Final, 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 final. Last I think it's harmful to uh, the magician rob the bank because if people keep doing this, uh, there will be more crime happens and other people with. Uh, other people will feel okay to do the magic in uh, and it will affect the all the people it will affect the work in the future okay um at the end of the at the end of this uh, movie there will be three <coughs> and you will be shocked at at the ending of the if you watch the movie because Because uh, because uh, there will be more magic uh, in in the movie. So overall, um, the I enjoy to watch the movie. <laughs> I enjoy to watch the movie because. Um, um, I like the magic ma about magic and I like the magic story and I will watch it again. Mantap. Okay, as I can conclude, okay, many, most of us like the movie, except yes. someone, someone, <laughs> I mind, doesn't <laughs> like the movie, <laughs> and those, and more of us enjoy the movie. Uh, I think, uh, our next review, what movie? Black, Black Diamond, Diamond, right? Black Diamond, Diamond. 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 We we watch at Bukit Expo together together. Expo Hill, ah Expo Hill. Oh sorry, I'm not sure about the English name. <laughs> um, on this weekend. Um, I think that's all from us. Uh, wait for our next review. Hope you enjoy, sir. Thank you. Pila, pila, pila. Assalamualaikum. Bye. 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 Bye.